subscribe, and press the bell icon and never miss an update. We need one Arduino board, one breadboard, nine LED bulbs, nine 220 ohm resistors and 11 jumper wires. Connect resistors one leg with ground line, and another with the short leg of LED. Connect jumper wire, with long leg of LED. Do the same exercise for, the rest of the 8 LEDs. Connect positive jumper wires, with Arduino pins, from 5 to 13. Now, we will connect the jumper wire with ground line, or, you can say, with negative line. You can see, that only half of the LEDs are blinking, because, breadboard is divided into two sections. We have to connect another section, with the first one through the jumper wire. Let's have a look at the code. You can download the code, from the link given in the description. In setup function, we have open serial port 9600 to print the pin number of the currently blown LED light. You can see the output by opening serial monitor from tools menu. Instead of using 9 pin mode statements, we have used a loop to set output pins in one go. Now, come to the execution. We have declared variable var for LED pin number. Set the delay for 1000 milliseconds or say, 1 second. For faster speed, you can set lower number, for example, 200. Again, we have used the loop instead of writing single statements for each on and off. It has saved a huge amount of time and efforts. In first statement, we are printing the current LED's pin number. Then, putting on, the current LED. For more details about, digital write function, watch our another short video. Here, we put off the previously blown LED. Put on one, and put off the previous one. So, this loop will run for LED 5 to 13 and next loop will run from 13 to 5. That's it for codes section. Let's have a walk through of the complete circuit. We are working on interesting science projects, which you will see in our upcoming videos. So, stay tuned. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.